Welcome back to our channel. It's great to have you here for another exciting video. Australia is globally recognized for being a mega-diverse and vast country, but also for its impressive transportation logistics, which emerged to solve the problem of distance between its main cities. Created in the early 20th century, the so-called Australian road trains were born as an efficient solution for livestock transportation, gradually gaining popularity until becoming a fundamental part of the country's economic activities. They typically consist of three 44-foot trailers connected in series, towed by a single prime mover, and operated by highly skilled and experienced drivers. The size and length of Australian road trains vary, as it is now possible to see trucks pulling even four trailers, reaching up to 50 meters in length and 200 tons of combined gross weight. The existence of these units is largely due to the country's geographical characteristics, as it has thousands of kilometers of straight roads on a virtually flat surface in its entirety. And the fact that for many years, the country decided to invest in creating roads instead of building a complex railway system. While urban transport typically features cab over trucks from major brands like Volvo, Scania, or MAN, Road trains are usually powered by conventional heavy-duty trucks from brands like Kenworth, International, or Western Star. This is intended to keep operators safe in the event of accidents, due to the high density of animals found near roads. For the same reason, drivers have been forced to implement bumper bars known as bull bars to prevent severe damage from collisions with kangaroos or other animals. Being able to transport large loads over long distances in a highly profitable manner and in relatively short times has led various industrial and transport sectors, such as mining or the transport of perishable goods, to opt for this method to carry out their tasks, as its use also contributes to reducing traffic on roads and at the same time reducing the carbon footprint. Additionally, some companies are now investing in new technologies applied to road trains such as self-propelled wagons, with the aim of significantly improving transport performance and efficiency, while also extending the life of prime movers. Due to Australia's challenging climate conditions, where temperatures can reach up to 48 degrees Celsius, drivers must take several factors into account, such as the amount of fuel and water they need to carry and the intense wear tires suffer on hot asphalt, especially when traveling through the remote and semi-arid area known as the outback.
In the mining sector, this practice is taken to another level, as private roads within the mines allow road trains to operate in configurations of up to six fully loaded trailers or more, although over considerably shorter distances. Australian road train drivers must comply with strict transportation regulations, in addition to those related to vehicle weight and dimensions, including driving and rest time limits. Generally, drivers can work up to 12 hours a day and must take regular breaks to avoid fatigue. Although these rules were previously easily breached, modern geolocation systems make it easier to monitor operators' progress throughout the route. So combined with the intense surveillance by authorities on the road, carrier's journeys have become much safer for both them and other road users. Recently, a particular phenomenon has occurred regarding the fulfillment of this task. As the number of personnel qualified to handle road trains is becoming increasingly scarce, despite the fact that this job can be very well paid with salaries around $70,000 a year, considering that it can be higher depending on the company, skills, and experience in the position. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it valuable. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We can't wait to see you in the next one.